Broadcasting Corporation senior news video editor Betty Baraza has been laid to rest at her home in Ololua, Ngong, Kajedo County amid calls for an expedited probe into her untimely demise. Betty was accosted and brutally murdered by a non-gunman at her home last Wednesday. She leaves behind a husband and three children. Family, friends and colleagues of the late Kenya Broadcasting Corporation video editor Betty Baraza gathered Wednesday to pay their last respect to the slain journalist. <laughs> The day began with a requiemus at the Montezuma funeral home, where the late Betty was eulogized as a loving wife, mother, and a mentor. Somebody who is very supportive, very caring, and somebody who cannot hold a crutch. Sasa, nisituka sana. Na mimi mwenyewe ni mgonjwa. Sita sema kwa kitu. Mwelezi wangu, hakulea Joffrey peke yake na watoto wake. Adilea mimi saidi. Kwa nini? Kila mara ni konjeka, alikona ni pikia simu. Mama, kuche Nairobi, tuende kutibu. Na waka. KPC and indeed the entire uh, media fraternity have not uh, come into terms with what happened. However, what we are left with is uh, to thank God for the time he gave us to be with Betty. Geoffrey Baraza described her wife Betty as a godsend gift whose shoes will be difficult to fill. And you are not there. The gap is very big and very big enough. I have no one to lean on. But I will stand and try my best to fit in your shoes to take care of our children and continue to do what we are doing best. Betty's colleagues at the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation say they will miss her. Um, we, play, uh, we play that the family fights peace uh, during this trying moment. Um, it has been trying time for, I know, for the family, for us, as well as the KBC family. Very friendly. You would, she would be your friend as soon as you meet her. She was always smiling and always laughing. We have lost someone who was very close to us and someone who meant so much to us. Betty, to me and to most of my colleagues, was just a wonderful human being. She was an amazing soul, a beautiful soul, so kind, so generous. The diligent worker, we shall surely miss Betty. Uh, Betty to us was a worker who'd anytime be called upon and take the assignments, do the assignments without any question. In fact, in our supervisory, we called Betty a filler. Betty was brutally murdered in her house by a known gunman. That, uh, that saying that Serikari Konamkono Murefu is not true because we have seen it and we would wish that that Mukono really arrest these killers. As a family and as a constituency Kapuchai, that the justice be done through investigation. Truth can come out. If truth can come out in the time that we expect, in consultation with my senator, we shall ask this on the floor of parliament to tell us actually what is happening and what happened with this lady. The late Betty Baraza was laid to rest at her home in Ololuangong, Kajiado County. Betty leaves behind her husband and three children. Dark cloud continues hanging in the compound of the Barazas. Even as Betty Baraza is laid to rest today, family, friends, colleagues, and the country at large continues waiting for answers on who and why she was brutally murdered. Reporting for Channel One News from Ololuangong, Kajado County, I'm Ruth Wamboy.